Hey, and welcome to the Pod Cafe. I'm Nick Potts. And I'm Emily Potts. And we drink coffee and talk about the podcast we're listening to. Yeah. How are you doing this morning? Word on the street I'm very is tired. you're tired. I'm very, very tired. I worked overnights and slept for like an hour and going to go back to bed after we're done here. Woohoo! But, you know, do it for the podcast, you know? Do it for the podcast. Um, definitely an excuse to drink some caffeine. Today's kind of fun, right? Because we're actually drinking the exact same thing today. Yeah, we are. Okay, and this is totally not a coffee I would drink ever. I, It's like, I don't know. Let's talk about it. I've never once tried these before. So we're, dr- we're drinking the Instamix from Starbucks. They come in little, like, packets, little crystal light looking packets, but bigger. Uh, this one's vanilla latte. And it's just a powder that you mix in with hot water, and it's instant coffee. I'm kind of an instant coffee fan, I would say. Like, I'm down with the packet of coffee. I think it's very practical. And one thing, it's way better for the environment than our K-cups. Is it, though? I mean, we're still putting plastic into the garbage. It's not plastic, though. Is what it? what do you think it is? What is well, it? Well, it's <laughs> but it's non-recyclable. Like the K cup is at least a recyclable thing that we're not even recycling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. We're both just going into waste though. Yeah. I know, but the K cup shouldn't be. That's the problem. Mm. Well, um I don't know if I'm a fan of this actually. I don't like um, cream in my coffee, and it kind of just tastes like we're drinking coffee cream. Well, it's a latte. I so. know. I'm not a big latte person. I think I prefer like my just plain black coffee, but it has I good think it flavor. Tastes powdery. I think it tastes powdery. Did you put enough water in it? Eight ounces, like the instructions say. Mm. Maybe you didn't stir it enough. Mine doesn't taste powdery. I don't know. It tastes like I don't know. It tastes like a vanilla latte, but maybe it's just because I saw the powder go in there that I feel like it tastes powdery. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I guess I I poured it in and then I was like, "Is this really gonna dissolve?" But then it did. It, was it did pretty quick. Yeah. I almost didn't have to stir it, but it's fine. Okay. It tastes good. The caffeine has to be lower, though, right? I tried to read on the package how much caffeine was in it, but I didn't find it. Mm. It tastes lower. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> the concentration's probably lower. Yeah. Just because there's other stuff in it. It's not just black coffee. That's true. So, what That's would you fine, rate this coffee? I'm trying to go to bed after this anyways. Yeah, I'm looking at you on this video, and I don't even think your eyes are open. They weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need my eyes to talk into a microphone. <laughs> okay. What would you rate this coffee? I like a seven. <laughs> Are you just going to give me quick answers so you can go right back to bed today? No, but here's the thing. I think being tired has made me more decisive. So I'm, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be sitting here pondering for like a solid 10 seconds and I'm going to have to cut out and post. I think I'm just going to have to, I'm, I'm just going to be able to give numbers. That's great. I love it. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I'm on board with a seven as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like a nine or 10 to me, but it's not terrible. I wouldn't give it a five or six. So seven it is. Seven, seven's a good number. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Well, that was quick. Well, uh. Yeah, well, that's what happens when we're both drinking the same thing. We only have to have one conversation about the coffee. That's true. We shouldn't do this again. Probably <laughs> won't. <laughs> unless maybe, like, we're in the same room, which we were and didn't take advantage of that. So yeah, that was maybe. bad. That was dumb. That was a rookie mistake. Yeah, I didn't think about it. I don't know that we would have been able to make a decent recording with the people around. That's true. Um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, today, we're moving on to the sports genre. 
Yeah, we are. We're doing all the sports. All and the, the sports. podcasting. Yep. And why don't you go ahead and tell us which podcast we review? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is like my favorite podcast to listen to of all time. Um, it's just so, I think it's hilarious. It's entertaining. It keeps me up to date on sports. And I just, it's great. I'm always up to date on this podcast. So we chose one of, actually not one of, I think, the best Barstool Sports Podcast. Pardon my take. Woohoo! Which I had not listened to before this. Sad. That's but you had. sad. Yeah, I listened to it. Well, it'll be a good, uh, you know, we're coming from different sides of the railroad tracks. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so, Barstool Sports is a... Uh, I don't even know what to call them. I was going to say a company, but that seems weird. A media outlet. Yeah. Yeah. So they're like a media outlet for all things sports. So they have all these different podcasts, um, different, I don't know. They're all over the media. It's a, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's so weird. It is just like a pop culture slash port sports blog and media thing. Well, I don't know what other podcasts they have, but it's just like this one at least is just like sports journalism. Yeah, yeah, they're all like journalists. They blog, and then there's a few different podcasts they have. Um, like, I mean, there's a whole huge barstool steam team and there's a bunch of different spin-off podcasts but this is particularly my favorite it is hosted by um big cat and pft is is their names and then we also have hank but um yes yeah, so i don't understand hank he's not uh, whoop, he's not a host um he's in like every episode hank is a host um i think he started as uh i'm trying to think of what he's i think he was like started as a producer and basically was just adding like sounds and sound effects to the show and then now they talk to him more and so he's kind of become a third host oh so they kind of just include him Mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty much just um pft and big cat but Hank was the producer and now is, is kind of just there, so. <laughs> so it's like when Chris D'Elia talks to his producer, Juan Fire. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like that. I get it now. Uh-huh. All right, right on. Yeah. So that's who we're working with. Any other things I should share about that, do you think? Um, I don't know. Do they do TV? <laughs> Um, well, they did have an ESPN show for a minute. They did, um, one episode and then it got canceled. It's a really sore subject. They don't like mm. to talk about it. Okay. We don't have to talk about it then. Yeah, they don't like to talk about it. But other than that, they usually just do their podcast. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, uh, jump into some criteria then. Okay. Let's do it. Um, let's start with the intro. told me they used to have a different intro song yeah. than they have now. So I think we got to judge it on the one they have now, right? Yeah. I actually think it used to be the same intro song, but they changed the um 
I don't know how to say this. Like the the recording of it, like it's a diff. It just sounds different. Hmm. I don't know. I should have done some research in that. Didn't have time. Okay. So yeah, let's. Um, so their intro song is Electric Avenue. That Electric song. Electric Avenue. Yeah, that. And um, then, I like it. It makes me bop my head. Yeah. It's a head bobber. But they don't start with it right away. What do they? They what do they do? They do like an intro to the episode. Yeah, they tell you like who's gonna be on the episode and what segments they're gonna talk about, and then they go into the Electric Avenue song, and then they do like a this is pardon my take presented by barstool sports something like that and then we and then we go i thought um they do an intro they tell you what's going to happen on the the episode and they also do a sponsor ad and then they do a thing i yeah i did i just said that i just said you didn't you said the sponsor ad no i oh i missed the sponsor ad yeah they do a sponsor ad too because they always go like we're gonna interview this person and talk about this and do this yeah. but first we switch to the cash app yeah the cash app they give away some money right at the start yeah hank who'd, who'd we hook up <laughs> <laughs> and then they laugh about the person's name for some reason every time it's funny i don't know why yeah it's like guy strongman mm-hmm. um yeah and then they go into the intro song and then they come back in um, how do you feel about the length of the intro song? To be honest, I think it's a little long. I agree. But I do like it. I like the song. Yeah. I do think it's a little long. Yeah, I think, though, so maybe I'm desensitized to it now because I do think it's a little long, but now it's like an expectation, you know? When you listen to a podcast enough, then you're like, oh, yeah, this lasts this amount of time. It's a little long, but you don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I don't see the relevance <laughs> of the <this> song <laughs> I think there was a reason why they chose that song But I can't remember why Hmm I'll try and google it Interesting uh, Well here's here's the good news They don't do Super long ads at the beginning Yeah they only usually do one And I feel like it's the, the Cash app one so it's not like Terrible because at least they're giving away money <laughs> Yeah right, How do I get in on that how much money? That's what I always wonder. I have no I idea. I wonder that too. Is it like fifty dollars? Fifty dollars doesn't seem worth it to me. What What would be worth it too? I don't know. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> Is a hundred dollars worth it? Mm, maybe. It would have I mean, to be triple digits. All you have to do is tweet at them. It would is have to be no, triple. You have to. Yeah, you have to tweet your Cash App name. Yeah. So. Yeah, I guess. It still feels like it needs to be at least a hundred. Why? A tweet costs a hundred dollars for you? Yeah, I'm expensive. Um my my Cash App handles in high demand. Oh, interesting. I have all of two friends on Cash App. <laughs> <laughs> I've never used the Cash App. I have it though. It's great, actually. I like it a lot. I've never used Venmo, but I prefer the Cash App. Look at you, just a true barstool sports guy over there. Yeah, well, you can make like your own custom like credit card through Cash App, mm. and it's free. And I haven't done it, but I've heard people say it's cool. And I also don't know why you would need it, because I, I think you can only draw from your Cash App stash. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know. It seems like an extra card that I don't need, but I like the Cash App. Me too. So. So. We're, Let's, oh, what do you got? Let's uh, let's rate the intro here. What do you think? Okay, I give it a nine for the length of the intro song, and that's it. I give it a nine as well for the same reason. Okay. I mean, it gives me what I need. The ad is fine. It doesn't really bother me. The intro tells me what I'm about to listen to. Love that. Then I don't have to read the intro. You know, read the summary or whatever. Oh, do you do that? Sometimes. Oh. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, really? To any podcast? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I do it before I choose which one to read. Or Unless listen I'm, like, to. <laughs> listening to 
a podcast and then I come back to it, but can't remember what episode I left off on. Then maybe I'll read them to find out if I remember that stuff happening. But otherwise, no. Yeah, I uh, I always read it. I don't know. I like to know what I I'm just getting try and myself guess into. From the title. Yeah, maybe I can't guess. I don't know. I just play. It's like a little game, a little guessing game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eights. Nope. We gave in a nine. Nines. Let's Nines. let's um talk about the content. I feel like this oh, is. Oh, let's talk about the content. This is. There's a lot here. Sports. Um. Here's what I appreciate about. Pardon my take. Is they actually have knowledge about soccer, and I don't. But I like that they're Americans that can have an actual educated conversation about soccer because most people don't care about soccer in America. How could they not? The World Cup is going on right now. It's amazing. Yeah, it sure is. And half the world is watching the the World Cup, Mm -hmm. which is a lot of people. Well, so if you think about it, like their job is to blog and podcast about sports. So they kind of need to know everything about all sports. Like, what else are they yeah, doing all day? That's a good point. How come they don't know much about MMA? Uh. <laughs> when they had Dana White on, they had to bring an extra person, who I can't remember his name, as their MMA expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I'm not sure why they don't know a lot about MMA. Hmm. I think they just think of it as a... They, when they talk to MMA fighters or boxers... It's very simple. Like, I think their mindset is like, they fight people. (laughs) Yeah. That's kind of unfortunate, but I get it. There's a lot of sports to keep up with. Yeah. But really, they're going to keep up with golf and not MMA. Golf is, like, borderline not a sport. Golf? You don't think it's a sport? No. Golf is is? a retirement person's game, a retiree's game. It's a hobby. It's a hobby. If you can if you can play a game when you're sixty years old and be really good at it when you're sixty years old, it's not a sport. That's not true. There's some people in judo <laughs> who are sixty and seventy who are really good at it, so I take that back. But golf is not a sport. Golf is a game. Golf is as much a game as like bocce ball. Or like ring, uh, lawn darts, or horseshoes, or that's all I got. But or pool, it's like pool. It's like just, long range pool. I was just letting your rant go. Long range pool. Okay. Is bowling a sport? Yeah, I think so. What? Mm-hmm. They actually talked about bowling at one in one episode. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't think golf sport. But, I mean, can you, golf almost replaced wrestling in the Olympics. What is that about? Ooh. Wow. So is wrestling even a sport? What? Yes. <laughs> wrestling is like the original Olympic event. Okay. Maybe that's true. I don't know. That seems not true, but okay. It, well, it was either like wrestling or like javelin throwing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, no... Running. I think running. Just running? Yeah. Like the marathon. It's like the easiest one to do. Yeah. Okay. So you like that they can talk soccer. Yep. Sure do. Um, Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm just not like, I don't listen to any sports podcasts. Well, okay. Mainstream. Nope. MMA is mainstream in my opinion. I listen to some MMA podcasts. I don't listen to podcasts about other sports a lot. Uh, because I just, I don't know. I just don't follow other sports, like, at all. That... And... What? That is, I think, why I like it. Because I don't really follow... Like, I don't watch every single game of any sport. So I like that they keep me up to date of, like, what's going on. Yeah, I think, um, they probably have done the best job at getting me interested in those topics. Like, I could pretty much care less who LeBron is signing with 
but it was fun to hear them talk about it. Yeah. So, I think they do uh, a good job. I mean, they're just fun. I think probably it'd be true no matter what the topic was. I think they're just good at talking. Yeah. And they're funny, and they are... um, I feel like they're good at, like... So, they talk about sports, but they also talk a lot about, like, pop culture. And I feel like they're good at, like, choosing topics that are, like, hot, you know? Sure, yeah. So, it's entertaining. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's cool. All right, all right. Yeah, it's fun to listen to. I uh, The problem I run into is I don't know because I'm not up with the sports I don't know, like, the people they're talking to mostly yeah, or anything, but it's still fun to listen to. So, where do we talk about, like, segments and interviews? Are we talking about that now, or are we talking about that That when we talk about the structure? That means structure, probably. Okay. Segments seems very structural. Yeah. Um, Content's pretty simple. It's sports. Yeah, sports, people involved in sports. Some little sprinkles of pop culture and news and whatnot. Usually when they're related to sports people. They do get a lot of, like, big names on there. How do they do that? I mean, they're, like, one of the number one ranked podcasts on a lot of podcast apps. Yeah. So, they got... I wonder how they got to that point, though, because they didn't start off that way. No, they didn't. I don't know. I think they're great. I think they're so good at podcasting. That's how they got there. I agree. I think they're very good. I really enjoy it. That's why, that was my whole point, is I was surprised that I really enjoyed the podcast because it's not something I have even once tried to listen to, is a sports podcast. Yeah. I think it's a good sports podcast because somehow they talk about sports in a way that's not boring. Yeah. And uh, I, mm, I... Like I don't I don't really care about soccer that much either. But I found myself interested in their conversations. I listened to a whole um interview they had while I was at work last night, um, with some guy from England and they talked about the World Cup basically the whole time and it was really fun to listen to. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I had nothing else to say to you about that. That's uh, great. I, well, how about you? Why, just why was it? Why was it fun to listen to? Tell me why. Um, I think it was just them. They were funny, <laughs> and uh, there was a running bit about how the guy was from England, but he just got um, U.S. citizenship or something, so he's technically American now, and it was just a running bit through the whole conversation, <laughs> and. They're very g- good at... It's like dry humor. It's not like punchline humor. It They're very good at just like being sarcastic and ironic and um, making jokes, but playing it off as if they're not joking, but you still, by the tone, know they're joking. Yeah. You know what I mean? How do they do that? Like, how are they so funny... Literally just making sarcastic or, like, satirical comments for, like, an hour. And they never really laugh at themselves. Yeah, they don't, really. I would just lose it. I mean, I laugh listening to them. How do they not laugh at themselves? Yeah, it's like uh, the the contrast. The contrast (laughs) is my brother, my brother, and me who joke through the whole hmm, podcast, but... They constantly crack up at each other and themselves. And there's just like seconds or minutes of them just laughing. But in part of my take, they do like, I would say, on par humor with, uh, you know, same level of funny. But they don't crack up themselves. Yeah. Maybe they're like, I don't know. What, do they not think they're funny? Or do they... Are they actually being serious and everyone else is laughing? <laughs> no, I think they I think they know it's funnier if they don't start laughing. Because That's true. like the hint of seriousness is what makes it funny. Yeah. 
I guess I agree with that. That is one thing that kind of annoyed me about my brother and my brother and me is they laugh so much that I'm like, I don't even want to laugh lift with you. I want to laugh at you. Hey, you leave them alone. Okay. All right. So what would you rate the content? <laughs> um, I will give it a nine. Why? <laughs> why so high or why so low? Why so low? I'm giving it a 10. Because I don't care about sports. Oh. And I okay. just can't seem to get past that. But um, I like their sports podcast. Okay. I'm giving it a 10 because I love it and I think it's great. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about... Oh, this is so easy for me. Let's talk about yeah, the I entertainment I'm gonna value. Give it a 10. I'm going to give it a 10. I'm just going to put that um, down. Yeah, because you... you this one's in your feed. It is. It's so entertaining to me. It's the only yeah. podcast that I ask, actually stay up to date with. I have to give well, it a you 10. Ha- you have to give it a 10. Yeah. I what don't. I? I don't have to give it a 10. I know. You don't um, have to do anything you don't want to. Yeah. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it an 8 because That I is don't, horribly low. What are you talking <laughs> I'm about? I'm just That's kidding. like upper end. <laughs> Um, okay, what? I don't feel the need to go back to it every single day, mostly because even though they're funny and a joy to listen to, I just don't care about the subject matter enough. But I will definitely keep a lookout for episodes they put on where they're interviewing people in the MMA world, because then I will care about the subject matter. So... Is there like a time of year when you might care more? Is there any sport that you care more about than others besides MMA? Or not really? Um, mm, not, not, not really. Okay, uh, that's fair. Just wondering. Yeah, I could care less about basketball or baseball or football or soccer or hockey, or I, I'll say I'm interested in things when the big events come around, like the World Cup, or uh, the Super Bowl, or okay, the World Series. Yep. You know Otherwise, what else I really... I don't, like, when's the last time you watched a sports game on the TV? Well, I have been watching the World Cup, so those really? games... Yeah, there's like a bar downtown by me that puts a big screen up in their lawn and everybody just goes and sits out and watches it. It's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. See, um, hey, I would probably get into it if it was like that. I can, yeah. Okay, this is where I like sports. Not the sports, the um, atmosphere of the sports. Yeah, like, I can understand I don't care. That. I don't care about the actual sports, but I love going to like... A basketball game or a hockey game or a football game or something. Like, being in stadiums is fun. I like that. Um, hanging out with a bunch of people, like... Maybe the problem is I'm just not, like, behind any teams. I don't have, like, a team in any of the yeah. sports. You should get a team. I guess. I just don't care enough to pick a team. I'm a, I'm a city team. I like my Cubs. I like my Bears. I like my Bulls. I like my Blackhawks. Okay, so I think that might be another reason why I love this podcast, because Big Cat, main dude, Mm -hmm. he, him and I share the same sports teams. So he is a Chicago fan and a Badger fan. So wait, why a Badger fan? He went to Wisconsin, I think. Why a Chicago fan? I think he's from Chicago. Oh, well, that'll do it. Yep. Oh, you know what was really fun for me is, out of nowhere, the uh, guy from England they were mm-hmm. talking to during the soccer conversation, they were trying to get him to make picks, uh, predictions for the World Cup winners, and he was being he was being funny and yeah. wasn't picking real teams, and <laughs> the last team he picked was Loyola Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> the Ramblers. <laughs> The Ramblers, which they, is... 
loved the Ramblers in the basketball March Madness tournament this year. The March, in the Madness March. Yeah, they freaking loved the Ramblers. They Why? were like, they were all in on Sister Jean. Oh well, Sister Sister Jean is a gem. Yeah, yeah, it was hilarious. That's fun. Well, um, yeah, so I'm gonna give it an eight for what are we on content? Nope, no. we were on the entertainment, entertainment value. Come on, Nick, look alive here. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay. So, so I'm at a nine nine eight. Yep, and I'm at a nine ten ten. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the structure. All right, this is one you were waiting for. Yeah, because I have a lot to say about the structure. Well, hit me with it. So, I like the structure, but I also have parts that I really don't like. So, obviously, I love the content. So, I love what they're talking about. Their structure is they have, they always have someone that they're interviewing, um, sometimes multiple people, but they don't, their interviews aren't live. So, they record and do all the little combining and splicing to make, make the episode. Um, they also do segments, which I love. The segments are great. Um, they have like a bunch of different ones that they'll alternate. Some of like my personal faves are the bachelor talk for guys that don't watch the bachelor. So they just do it. I've not heard that one. Yeah. Well, it has to be a, I think that's a Wednesday one because the bachelor airs on Mondays. Why is that on a sports podcast? They're just they're pop culture too, you know. They got to stay relevant with the for the men, mm. the guys out there. Interesting. So they usually do like, but they don't watch The Bachelor either. So like when they're giving Bachelor updates, it's just hilarious. I don't watch it it's either. Like third but hand. Yeah, yeah. I don't watch it either, so I'm about as useful as they are. But I think it's hilarious. Um, another one of my favorites are guys on chicks. Is what they do. So they have girls like email or call in leave voicemails with questions and then they answer the questions for the females and it's usually girls asking questions about guys and then them giving the advice back it's pretty hilarious because it's usually very inaccurate Um, so i'm noticing a trend that none of your favorite segments are sports related uh most of the segments really aren't I like what do you mean? the interview is usually is always sports related. I know, Maybe but not always. Yeah, the interview is, but the segments aren't. What about Mount Rushmore? That yeah, is. that was about to be my next one. Well, Mount Rushmore is sometimes sports related. Um, when is I re- it not? I never heard one that it wasn't. We just listened to one when it wasn't. When it was uh, reasons it's okay to cry. No, it was sports reasons it was okay to cry, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Oh, Never? oh right, because they said when your dog dies. Yeah. That's not sports related. And when they stub their toe. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I do like Mount Rushmore. It's So that's like they do a snake draft on the... So it's kind of sports related. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of their top four things in a, seg- in a topic or something. What else? They do, the, they do a lot of who's back, which... Uh, who's back that aren't people? <laughs> they are sometimes people. Sometimes they are. Um, so that's kind of funny. Do you have any favorite segments? Um, I do like Mount Rushmore. Mount like, Rushmore's good. I like. What are the uh, what are the other segments? I like. Uh, I can't There's think of any more segments. Okay, that's fine. The Kentucky Call is that a segment? They only do that like once a year, right? Yeah. That's not a segment then. Usually they just have like little blips in there that are not major segments but they'll do like a like a a stay woke (laughs) where they'll just talk about something that they heard about that uh you know is like what's cool or something you know Mm -hmm. so they'll throw that in um they do a lot of breaking moves and then they all moo and that's that's breaking news (laughs) <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. What is the deal with at the very end of the episode when everything's over, somebody sings a song to a different beat every time, but it's always the same song. They sing it to a different beat. 
Oh. You don't listen that far? I don't know. I don't know if I noticed that. Oh no, what song is it? Uh, I'm never going to remember it right now. But they do. Some but one of them sings it pretty not badly, not good. It's pretty <laughs> average. Okay. I don't really know what you're talking about if I'm being honest. I'm going to look it up as we talk. Okay. So, I really like the segments. I think they're just funny. Sometimes they are like related to sports. Sometimes they're just like pop culture things and it's just a really funny way to like talk about things in the news or talk about things that are happening in sports and it's funny so I do really like that however I do struggle with a few things on the interviews sometimes well a lot of the times I don't really know who the person is um but then they usually give me a little intro and then I'm like I'm bored at that Sometimes I feel like the interviews, like if the other person, like the person they're interviewing is not into their like jokes and how they're sarcastic, that the interview just isn't great, you know, like if someone else where they lose me on those, like if it's just a, if it's just a boring straight up sports interview, I tune out. So I feel like that's where they lose me, but the segments always bring me back. Sometimes if it's a good person on the interview then I'm all in or if it's just like funny then I'm I'm in but I don't know can be a struggle sometimes with me in the interviews um but then they usually bring it back to more segments and then I'm I'm entertained again and it's probably good that they don't finish their podcast with the interviews just in case it's not great yeah what do you think about their ads I was just gonna ask you the same (laughs) question well I never know Because I haven't listened to enough. I never know when they're coming. And they space them out periodically. And it's interesting. They're like long enough where I wish I could skip them. But short enough where it doesn't seem worth my time to go through and try and just skip over them. I think the ads. I think they're. I don't mind them. I feel like there's kind of. A lot of them sometimes, but I don't really mind them because they usually, they, they make them somehow humorous, like how they're always making fun of Hank's ability to read and how they say he has trouble reading. So they'll be like, okay, Hank, you try and read this one now. Yeah. I feel like they use their ads sort of as transitions to between segments. Yeah, I think so too. Um, which is fine. I think I don't mind them. Yeah. yeah, they're okay. Like I said, I don't like sk- actively try and skip over them. So, I don't know. They're pretty good. I think they're not just typical dry reads of the ads that they send them. Okay, so what would you rate the content? That's or the not seg- what, we're the, well, what are we doing right now? <laughs> the structure. We're doing the structure. God, you're rubbing um, off on me. Yeah, sleepiness is contagious. Um, I will give the structure. I'm. I think I'm gonna hit it with a nine, and I think it's because sometimes I feel like there's too many segments in one episode, or maybe maybe they're overreaching a little bit. Otherwise, I I I think that the way they structure the ads is good. I think the fact that the interview is in the middle and not the end is good. Yeah, I have no no qualms with the rest of the structure. So do you give you give it a nine? That's what I give it. Wow, I actually think I'm gonna give it a nine too. Because oh, I know. Well, because sometimes Betrayal. they are a little. I know. No, not really. Nine's a good score. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I think the. Like, they, yeah, like what you said, they try to put too much into one episode, and then they become really long, and then I have to, like, break up when I'm listening to them and things like that, you know? So... Yeah, that would be one my one complaint, is the episodes are kind of long. Yeah. So, I think for that reason, I'll give it a nine, but, I mean, I think overall, it's great. For that reason, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> for that reason, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> So, I mean, we only have one more thing to talk about for this podcast, which is really sad because I really like this podcast and I could talk about it all day long. 
Well, we can talk about it as long as you want. Well, you have to go back to bed soon. Yeah, at some yeah. point. What's the last category? Um, The production. The production. I think this one is... You know what? I was going to straight up just give it a 10. But I actually think there's a noticeable difference in audio quality on this podcast. It's still good, but it's not phenomenal, I don't think. Yeah, I think I couldn't give it a 10 either because, well, most of their interviews are over the phone. Like, not a ton of them actually happen in person. And sometimes I can't hear them that well. And sometimes they break up. And then I'm like, I know you can't really fault that it's a phone interview, but it's got to be a better way. Sometimes I can't really hear it. There's got to be a better way. Right? Where's that infomercial? (laughs) This flinging, flinging... (laughs) Thing so hard to open. <laughs> well, there is Kevin. <laughs> That's great. Um. Oh uh, yeah. So everything else is good. I do like that they use ads as transitions. That's not a bad way to do it. Wait, go back. I, Hold on. You know how they call their listeners award-winning listeners? Yes, that's pretty funny. We will have. I think the person that can tell us where that infomercial reference back and forth that we just did came from is our award-winning listener. <laughs> oh no! Did we just do a a give our first giveaway, the first prize? <laughs> Your first prize is you become our award-winning listener. If you if you can guess that. Our first prize is the first person to tweet us the origin of that infomercial gets. Emily's Yeti water bottle. No, absolutely not. I, I can't get... Yeah, no. They get to be an award-winning listener. <laughs> yeah. We'll send you a, a pin. I can't. We can't. We stole that from Crystalia. We'll send you a certificate. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, we'll send you a certificate. Okay. We can't call them award-winning listeners, though. That's pa- stealing from... Pardon, pardon my patron, Patron of the month. Patron of the Sunday. Yeah, cus- customer, valued customer. No, <laughs> what do they call them in, in cafes? A, 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 a VIP clientele. That's mm. terrible. I'll work on it. Okay. Well, you anyway. Something. Tweet us if you know what that's from. Yeah, tweet at us. Tweet it at us. Okay, now that I cut you off and we can go back. Mm, well... Here's the bad news. Don't remember what I was talking about. Yeah, me either, because I was like really set on interrupting you and then talking about that. Okay, so production. I think, uh, yeah, transit. I said transitions. I said. I said. You talked about the oh, I know what I was gonna say. Okay. I remember really appreciating the episode when they were doing the Kentucky phone calls. What is that called? The Kentucky they, radio. I think it was. Kentucky Sports Sports Radio, Radio. and they, like, did a takeover of it. Yeah, yes, they hosted that. So when they were doing that, between phone calls, they played a little music clip to let me know that the phone call was over and they're doing a new one. Oh, yeah. So that was fun. I like that. Also, wasn't that freaking hilarious? (laughs) It was funny, except, I'll be honest, I don't think I finished that whole episode. Oh, but the Kentucky thing was so funny. Yeah, it was was pretty funny. They're, uh, yeah, (laughs) I think... What made it funny is their sarcasm went over those people's heads. Oh, totally those over Those people it. did not understand I, that they were being made fun of. Right. And then I kind of felt bad, but I was like, no, it's so funny. Yeah, it was funny. It was very funny. Uh, what else do you want to say about this podcast just in general? Unless you got more to say about the production. Well, I would like to talk about the production. I don't yeah, think let's I... have you talk about the production. Okay, yeah. So... First of all, I feel like I can't hate on it too much since Hank is the producer. I don't want to hurt Hank's feelings. I think he's a little sensitive, you know. Why do Uh, they pick on Hank so much? (laughs) I love when they talk about how, I don't know why actually, but I love when they talk about explaining things to Hank because they're like, well, Hank's a millennial, so he doesn't really get a lot of things that happened before, like pre-internet or the 90s. (laughs) It's just so (laughs) funny. When they're technically millennials too, but they they don't like to associate in the same crowd that Hank does, I guess. 
I don't know. Okay. So since Hank is like the OG producer, I don't want to like, you know, hate on him too much. Um, but I do think it's good. Like their in studio sounds really good. You know, they put it all together well. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, you know, the, the interviews really get to me. And, oh, you know what else I really like? This is not a negative mm-hmm. at all. This is hilarious. When they're always, like, talking about something, and then they're like, yeah, we'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. They never cut <laughs> and it out. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. That's good production, actually. That's yeah. very good editing decision-making. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a couple questions. Okay, I'll have some answers. Why are their names? For, nope. Let me start with this. Nope. Let me start with the, the one I was starting with. Why are their names Big Cat and PFT? Okay. So Big Cat is, um, well, because he's fat. And his name is didn't Dan. Didn't know that. You didn't know he was fat? What? No. Didn't he, know that. He's not is really Big that. Cat also the one with long hair? No, that's PFT. Okay. Um, He's not really fat. He's a, a little big, but they're always joking about weight and things like that. I don't know when he got the nickname Big Cat. I'm sure it's kind of like big dude related, but his name is Dan Katz. So Dan Katz. Big Cat makes way more sense now. Yeah. Do you think that's probably a nickname he's had his whole life? Um so PFT I know less about. It's his actual, you know, name on the um podcast is technically pft commentator and i'm pretty sure that stands for pro football talk? that was my second question is what does pft stand for yeah that's a great question uh oh no commenter Thanks. pft commenter. oh that's another thing i really like about them it's part the pardon my interruption but Anytime someone says good question, they always go, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Yeah, thank you. For no reason. Yeah, it is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so PFT commenter, it stands for pro football talk commenter. Um, his real name is Eric something, but he was like a sports writer for pro football talk. And then, yeah, just kept that name. I don't know. Pro football hmm. talk commenter. Well, I think you answered all my questions. Cool. I was going to ask their real names, too. Um, just for um, t- to clear up our uh, original conversation, the song they sing at the end is Take Me On. Oh, yeah, that one. All the time. Yeah. I do listen do to that. Do I that? never noticed that. I don't know why they do that. Huh. We should ask them. We'll tweet at them. We'll tweet at them and ask, yeah. You know, well, okay, now that you said the whenever they ask a question, they say, thanks. It was also making me think about whenever they talk about someone recently having a child, they always say, congrats on the sex. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) (laughs) Like, and then they move on. Like, they don't have a discussion on that. They just go, oh, great. Congrats on the sex. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's why they're funny. It's, yeah. it's the humor's dry they're like pretending like they're not being funny but they're being funny they know they're yeah. being funny yeah it's just like little tidbits that like add some humor that's good any other little um little, uh, little anecdotes you want to share about the podcast um so it is your favorite so it this is my is favorite your, your soapbox um another thing that i really like that they do is um they do you know, they kind of keep me entertained because they do more than just, like, podcasting in their studio. Like, they have a van that they podcast out of sometimes. It's called Vandy Woodhead. That's what they named it. Wait, their van is called Vandy Woodhead? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so, they do, like, some traveling with their their podcast. Um, they did like They do, like, Grit Week is what they call it, where they're literally podcasting out of their van and driving all around like the south talking like college football which i feel like you would appreciate because of your georgia bulldogs thing you know yeah i had a really cool experience actually that was actually one of the more fun times i had watching football not live in a stadium was being in athens watching the bulldogs play alabama it was a really good time I wish they would have won, 
but it was still fun. Yeah. The Barstool guys were probably there. Also, I heard myself. You think they were? My, probably. I also heard huh. myself in my headphones, and I think it sounded like I was saying, like, Vandy with a D, but it, it's... I was trying to say Vanny with an N. Oh, you de- 100% said Van D. Yeah, I was hearing that, and I was like, what... These headphones are killing me. I can't hear myself talk. Still getting you gotta get. Uh, well, we'll talk about it later. Doesn't matter. Yeah, don't tell me now. Tell me later. Um, anyway, I think so, they were there. I think you texted me and said they were there. Yeah, it was during Grit Week. Yeah. So yeah, I really like that. Um, I like some of their other things on sports that are less like hardcore sports related. Um, like when they talk about like the color rush. Like when football teams play in uniforms that have the same color top and bottom. So one of those episodes was the very first episode I ever listened to of this podcast. Oh, yeah. So I feel like those little things make it like less intense where I don't have to know like stats about sports, but I can just appreciate a something as simple as the color of a uniform. Yeah, I think that was actually might have been the best one to be the first one I listened to because I know that that's a thing. Uh, I think they were talking about football. Is it only in football, or do they do it in other sports? Um, well, I feel like other sports are always kind of like that. Yeah, so I, I think they were talking specifically about the, like, holiday color. Like, in Thanksgiving, football teams will wear different colors for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, so I knew that was a thing, and that was, like, the main topic of the whole podcast. So I could get into that one, because I, yeah. was, I was on board. I was caught up. Look at that. Even appealing to you, even yeah. though you don't love sports. Right. Okay. Uh, I think that all was right. all I wanted to add as my tip. Well, okay. That was some good stuff. So yeah. what What are our averages? Oh, let me tell you. Oh, okay. wait. What did you rate the production? I never put that down. Mm, nine. Okay. Me too. I mean, I feel like our scores are like pretty near this time, which is kind of cool, except for mine are obviously higher, but... Um, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so my average is 9.4. Okay. And yours is an 8.8. Interesting. And together we make a... <laughs> 20. Uh, and, together uh, we make a 9.1. Oh, if you average our averages together? Yeah. What's the mean? What's the mean <laughs> of our scores? Or the median? Can you do that? With, I, wasn't, okay. I don't remember how. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what did you say the average of our averages was? 9.1. 9.1. That, interestingly enough, might be what my overall feel rating is. Okay. I mean, I feel good about my 9.4. So, like, you don't want to a- bump it to a 9.5? You don't want to give them that extra 10? Oh, I mean, I totally would. I was just, for simplicity reasons. I was yeah. gonna stick with my just, true average, it, but nine five sounds great too. I'm surprised your it being your favorite, your overall feel isn't just a ten. Well, I mean, I feel like it's not true to myself to do that because I didn't give every criteria a ten. So that's comm- that's commendable. Yeah, that is Thank that you. is very fair of you. Thank you. Yeah, I was not that way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. During mine that will not be named anymore. I think that just tells you that I'm a little bit more of an honest reviewer. I don't know though. I don't know. I just I might be. It might be. I just maybe you're just more logical and I'm more emotional. That's that's could be true as well. Mm. Hmm. Well. Well. Take me on. Okay. Uh, um, aren't I supposed to be singing a different song? No, so what happens is they sing the lyrics to Take Me On, but it's always played with a different music track oh, or beat behind it. Oh, I understand. It. I yeah. think I hear the words and I don't notice the music track. <laughs> because <laughs> I think I've never noticed that. Huh. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe now you will. Yeah, I think I will. You'll learn something new every day. Uh, sure do. All right, well, that's all, folks. <laughs> Good night, Nick. Yeah. Good, yeah. good afternoon. A good, happy Sunday. Drink some happy coffee. Happy Sunday. I might need more. This latte wasn't enough. Yeah, well, that's the problem with lattes. Now you need some espresso. Mm-hmm.